www.newdeboss.com. This is Ty. Uh, the video I'm creating right now is still a part of the video tutorial series about Adobe Audition CS6. Uh, if you want to learn more about the software, you can just check out the playlist that we have for Adobe Audition CS6 on our YouTube channel. You can learn maybe, probably, a lot or a few or nothing from there. You just, you just check that out. Right, so we're on a part uh, that I would like to show you and how you can mix down an audio edit to one single file. What you do is open up your Adobe Audition CS6 right here and from here uh, I'm not gonna be using any music right now because uh, as you know YouTube doesn't want that so let me just pretend that I have uh, four files. Let me just uh, start off from recording. Let's say this is your voiceover. If you don't know how to do basic recording, go back down to the list of the videos that we have. Learn it from there prior to learning this. Let's say test recording. Hello sound check. This is the voice overlay one. And save that. And save selection. Uh desktop, that's gonna be okay. Click on okay, then delete this. Control A delete. Then what you do is, sorry, what you do to begin with, uh, think so that you already have your recording. I'm going to duplicate this. Let's say this is your voiceover. Voiceover. Maybe you're trying to record uh, some sort of like a pizza ad or some sort of like a radio commercial regarding, I mean, regarding something, any anything. Just think so of that. And you are required to have a voiceover. Uh, a kid voice. Let's say you have a kid voice, and um, another you have a, a mom's voice, mom's voice, and you have a, probably sister voice, and another you probably have a background music. You say BGM. All right. So again, let me create a folder for this. New, go folder, you say, uh, radio ad. Probably all these have been pre-recorded already. Alright, so we're going to pretend that all the materials that you have, you've asked your voice talent to record their voices already. What you just have to do is to mix them down into one file and edit them and set that to a mix down on stereo. So you can produce that into one single MP3 file. All right. You can't submit this to your client with all those breakdowns. What he, he can't use that, right? So you might want to mix down and design that to a concept to make it sound according to what has been demanded of you to create for the radio ad. So again, we're going to use those. So go to your audition right here. You're on waveform view. So what you want to do is go to multi-track view right here. Tick on that, and you say um, radio ad. Okay. Then sample rate. You can use 44100. It's up to you. 32 bit. It's gonna be okay. Stereo. Of course, you want to do that. 5.1. Not much because uh, you might want to consider those just using stereo. Tick on okay, and it's gonna bring you to multi-track view. This is kind of I could say unlimited tracks if I'm I was using this before you could use a lot of tracks for this so you don't have to worry you can just make it a little bit bigger you zoom in for this right here horizontal zoom and you got uh, no sorry this is m minimize and this is maxed out and this goes out for the width right there Okay, so you might want to make it a little bit bigger so you can work on that. What you do, this is your track 1, track 2, and track 3. Again, go back to the list of the video tutorials that we have. Look up for something that says basic recording in there. If you don't know how to do that yet, because it's going to be a little bit uh, uneasy for you if you don't have a background on basic. So what you do is you look up for your folder files. I mean for your files from the folder that we created, radio ad right here. Double click on that. And you got BGM, kid voice, mom's voice, sister voice, voiceover. All right. So what you do, uh, you drag your BGM right here. Drag your kid voice right here. Uh, let me make it 
a little downsized. Like those so aren't too small. All right, I'm gonna change the clip color on this so we can pretend that it's really different. All right, and let's say everything's been in there. All right, let's say you've arranged everything according to how you'd want to do it. Okay, let's think so that you did made changes on this. Oop, let me go back multi track. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Let's think so that you did make some adjustments like that. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm doing right now, those contour and everything, you, you, you go back a little bit down to the list of video tutorials that we have, then you can learn this from there. Right, so probably everything's been good already. Let me just change that. Uh, let's say it looks like this for your final output. All right, so when you try to play it, everything's good. It, I mean, everything's sounding good. It's ready for output. So the problem right now is you don't know how to mix that down into one single file. All right, so what you just do simply from here is you press Control A to highlight all the audio elements all right again control a would work and also highlight like this all right but if you have a lot of materials going right straight to the right side you don't want to do, do highlight using your mouse because you might miss out one element so what you do is just click on control a to be sure that you have everything highlighted then um, probably place your mouse pointer right anything I mean right on any element in there that's been highlighted right click over that you go down to something that says mix down session to new file alright you say mix down session to new file it was, it's going to ask you to say entire session yes you'd want to do that there you go so you will have everything in there if you play that that's collective of all those five audio files that you have into one single file go back to multi-track there's another uh, control a right click over that you got something that says export uh, mix down the difference between this the first one I showed you mix down session to new file you say entire session if you take on that it's gonna work on a little bit uh, the advantage of that option is that you still can edit right here. You still can cut. Uh, after a mix down, you can cut the front, uh, I mean, the beginning, the end part, or some other in there that you, can, that you still would want to remove. But if you do the second option, uh, let me highlight again, Control A, right click over that. Then you do the second option that says export mix down entire session. What it's gonna do is it's gonna somehow shortcut everything. It's not gonna take you to the waveform view for you to make changes anymore, but then the computer would understand that you are good to go, you're ready to directly export everything. Oh this guy's speed enough for everything. Why would I take him to the waveform view? I'm going to take him straight down into something that he could save that as a waveform or as an mp3 file right here or as a flac or anything actually right here you have a wide selection in there but basically you might want to use mp3 for uh, bit rates that's that's kind of constant and not much of the, the larger file Again, you could rename that, uh, say test, then output that to wherever path you'd want to have it, and click on OK. All right, so those are two ways in how you could export your audio edit or uh, a fusion of a lot of audio elements into one single audio file outputted so that we could call that as a final project or a final output, probably. Again, let me repeat that back again so you could I mean before I say goodbye 
Control A, right click over that, and you got first option, mix uh mix down session to new file, entire session. Then it's gonna take you to waveform view with all of them blended, but you still have the option to cut any part you'd want to remove before exporting. The second option, control A, right click over that, you got send the mix down session to new file uh, sorry, export mix down. It's literally exporting that directly. Entire session, yes, I would want to do that and export that to whatever file container or audio file container that you would want to use. Again, for some of the video tutorials, you can check out www.newtoboss.com and on our YouTube channel, please do subscribe, youtube.com slash newtoworks. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks much for watching.